Now I'm going to introduce you to our warehouse space. Um, this is where we keep all of our quality Build-A-Bikes. And it's pretty amazing. We have a wide selection in here of bicycles that people can fix and choose from. One thing about these bikes are that they have all been donated to us since we've been operating. So people are very generous and contribute to the Free Cycles cause. We have people choose their Build-A-Bike and all the bikes need different amounts of work. Some may just need 20 or 30 minutes of cleaning, pumping up tires, brake adjustment, maybe oil on the chain, and then it's completely safe to ride. But we do recommend when someone chooses a bike that they always start by checking to see if the seat post moves. Um, it would be a major bummer making this bike everything you wanted and dreamed of and then you could not adjust the seat height correctly. So one thing we recommend is doing a test of just standing over the bike getting on and off of it. And when you do this process, you can ignore the seat. So I'm just going to put my leg over the frame, maybe pretend I'm at a stopping point, just getting ready to ride. Typically, you want just a few centimeters of clearance between the frame and your body when you're doing this. If the gap between my body and the frame is much larger than a few centimeters, the bike is likely too small and you'll find over time as you ride it that you'll experience knee pain, neck pain, shoulder pain, things like that. It's almost better to have a bike that's a little too big if you're comfortable. One thing you can look at for is this measurement here. And we call this the head tube. So I just use my fingers to see how big that gap is. So when I compare these two bikes, you'll notice this is only fitting one or two of my fingers, while this fits four of my fingers. So this is a much larger frame. I tend to ride a smaller frame. When I get over this, I cannot stand flat on the ground. My feet are tippy toes, so this would be much too large of a bike for me. We also store bare bicycle frames in this warehouse. And so if people feel inspired and ambitious, they can take on a project starting from scratch, building a bike from the frame up. I will say that this can take a lot of time, just searching for the correct parts. And this here we call road bike, it has the drop handlebars and very narrow tires. It can be hard to fit a much wider tire on these types of frames. They're just not designed to have the clearance for wider tires. Bikes that are a little bit in everything, they're kind of in between. Maybe they have a wider tire, but some upright bars and some gears. And so we call those the hybrid bike. And then the other main category is more of the mountain bike. And so those will usually have a flat bar and some some more aggressive tread on the tire. We have big dreams for free cycles in general to continue to grow this community center. Um, this building has a lot of history. There's been many different projects that have occurred in it, but one day we do hope to make it more active instead of just bicycle storage, but it could be a pedal power machine shop or a concert space, who knows?